Hi everyone, this is Deborah. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so my last video was about the torrential rainstorm. So let me give you a little bit of insight about what I've been going on, what's been going on in my life the last week and a half. So um, about a month ago, I got the lollipop kids to bring me a five gallon bucket of water. I dumped it into the sump pump and I had one of the children outside sitting next to the outside pipe that my son had installed. He had installed the sump pump and the pipes going to the outside of my house. Well, nothing happened. I knew that you had to put a little bit in there to get it to go, but nothing happened. So I knew that I had to hire a plumber to um, see what the problem was. I didn't even know if it was working. Well, about, I guess, five nights ago, I was in my bed and I saw on the surveillance cameras a gentleman about 10.30 at night standing outside. So I grabbed my gun, I got my phone, and I talked to him through the camera, and I said, can I help you, sir? He goes, yes, I'm your neighbor. I think you have a busted water main. So I immediately went outside, and water was half a mile down the road. Water from my house. I happened to notice the spigot on the outside of my house. Water was gushing out of there and I go, geez, it is working. Now, just about, I guess three days before that, uh, we had severe thunderstorm warnings and I had been at my granddaughter's uh, taking care of her turtle, two fish and three rabbits. And uh, so on the way home, I got a severe thunderstorm warning. So by the time I got to the house, I mean, it was really, really bad. I couldn't get out of the car. It was raining so bad. But the minute I came into the house, we lost electricity. Everybody in my area, uh, we lost electricity. So now, uh, the gentleman, we went and looked in my cross space and I noticed the lattice that my son had hung last summer because he had, Put a piece of lattice up to hide my HVAC because it was so old and ugly, but it works pretty good. And he had hung this lattice up on two nails and it was about three foot off of the ground. Now, a piece of lattice is four foot high, right? So I noticed the line of demarcation on the lattice was halfway up. That meant that there had been like eight, 10 foot of water in my crawl space. I didn't know. Well, one reason, because it never stopped raining for three days. But when I went down there and peeked when the gentleman came and got me, it, it, it had subsided a lot. Well, that's why all the water was running down the street. I took my foot and made a little dredged place so that the water would divert away from the house. Now, a couple nights ago, I'm thinking, why did the sump pump allow it to get that high in the first place. Can you guess? It's because I had no electricity and they couldn't come on. So I realized I need a battery backup now, but my funds are not gonna allow me to do that right now because I know it's gonna happen again. And a lot of my neighbors have water hoses, you know, coming out of their house. But I looked in there yesterday, there's not a drop of water in my crawl space. So yesterday, this gentleman pulled up in this really nice 2500 looked like a brand new Ford truck with his wife and his son in the back and he pulled in and he says you know I used to live in your house he says would you mind showing me around I said no no problem so he told me that my kitchen used to be a porch which is why my ceiling has a funny look to it it's not like any of the other ceilings and uh, he said where my hallway and HVAC is now is where his bathroom used to be. And he said him and his dad uh, built my bedroom, that addition where I have a bathroom next, right next to my bedroom. And he said his grandfather died in my bedroom. Well, at the time it was his bedroom. So that doesn't spook me at all. I'm not, a, doesn't bother me a bit. But uh, there's a basin in, behind my house right in front of a retaining wall. And I looked down in it yesterday and there is an outlet or inlet. There's a hole inside that basin. And I think the water that accumulates in my backyard in front of the retaining wall, it may be traveling 
to the crawl space. He told me that if you, there is a crawl space that you can look through and crawl in way underneath my house. I asked my son to check it out. He says, oh, hell no, mom, I'm not doing that. So he says, if you go down there and shine a flashlight, you will see the pathway. So next time it rains, I'm gonna be down there with the flashlight looking, right? So uh, I wasn't able to mow my yard for almost a week and a half and I mowed it yesterday. My God, it was a foot tall and I had to mow it with the front part of the lawnmower up so it wouldn't clogged, it wouldn't clog, you know, the motor down. But uh, now I've got to rake that. Oh my God. Uh, it rains here a lot. It reminds me of Florida. But um, yeah, so uh, I do, uh, I can't believe I've survived that. Oh my God, it, I mean, it's very traumatic to have this happen to your house. Now, it seems like every house I've ever lived in, there's always some kind of water damage. I remember when I was first married, the hot water heater, you know, uh, I guess it broke and the water was everywhere. And then the house that I lived in in Fredericksburg, on, when I uh, lived there, it was like 200 and maybe 300 acres that I owned. Um, they did not grade the house correctly and the window wells would fill with water. And uh, it would just spill inside with mud. And I finally had it with my husband at the time. I said, we gotta fix this, you know? So it seems like every house. Then of course, the last place I lived in Colonial Beach, I got flooded 10 times. I mean, it's always about the water. Oh my God. So I will say goodbye and um, thanks for watching.